Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Six Ashes. Today we're doing a lot of work around the horses. We are going to be doing, well I say a lot of work around the horses, what we're going to be doing initially is getting our horses fed uh, and making sure that they're all up to date and then we're going to be doing something that's kind of adjacent to the horses. We have our horse grass ready to get harvested and turned into horse silage so uh yeah in today's video i'm very much going to be covering how you take horse grass in maize plus and turn it into horse silage uh, which should be quite good at the moment we're just giving our horses some oats uh, which should keep them fairly happy they've got plenty of hay uh, we want to give them some carrots as well so we're going to bring a new crate of carrots into here which are over this way and just around here and in here and i find this is the easiest way for me to feed the horses uh, is just to have a couple of crates here that we go and pick up with the forks every so often they eat out uh, they eat these and it just keeps them ticking over rather nicely let's get our height correct a little bit difficult from this first person view to do this and you can see we're a little bit high there we go uh, these boxes work quite well. These, I think, are the Maze Plus boxes, uh, if I remember correctly. And, uh, and yeah, they, uh, they refill and empty fairly easily. And you can come up here. And, uh, and yeah, we just place them in the animal feeding area and it will give them the food. As long as you've got them on the front of the loader, on the front of the front... Uh, the front loader it will give them uh, those items so we need to give them a bit of horse silage and uh, or grass um, so we've got that over here and I want to explain to you really what uh, what I look at horse silage as being because as somebody pointed out in a previous video horse silage is very very much is not uh, well silage is not something that you would give a horse so I'm going to drop this off so that we can grab a bale spike. So we've uh, sort of discussion in the chat down below. And you can let me think what you think of this uh, idea. Is that horse silage is actually haylage. So sort of semi-dry grass that, uh, or, or hay that has been wrapped and, uh, and turned into the silage as a different form of it. Um, which um, some people have suggested is something you may give horses. So uh, I think that is probably a good call. Uh, I am now running Maze Plus version 1.5 on here, uh, which is actually really cool. It adds a lot of new features uh, to Maze Plus. Um, in fact, one thing it does remove though is horse silage from the horse feed. Uh, but with the new add-on that comes with it, the, uh, the animal feeds add-on, you can redefine exactly what your animals take for feed. And so, as we already had some horse uh, silage on the map, and as we have some horse grass that we want to make into horse silage, I have added it back in as a feed for my cows. Uh, for my horses, sorry. And there we go, we have got here. Uh, and yes, it does say it is horse silage. Yeah, both horse hay and horse silage are uh, things that I've had to add back in for the feed for the horses on here. But I think it's, a, it's nice to have unique feed for our horses. I've placed the 6810 back in the shed and we're now gonna take this, our new Holland TS-115, this being our brand new tractor. Uh, we're going to take this mowing in a moment. First, I just want to come in here and hook this up to it so that we can give it a quick uh, update of straw. This means we didn't have to take the back off the 6810 uh, and we could just back this in here and give them some straw. And we should be able to just back round here and if we select the right thing, there we go. The straw trigger here goes around the wall which i think is quite an interesting thing uh it's always worked well for us the straw trigger around here and there we go not very much needed in there just enough 
and a fairly quick job. So we're going to take our TS-115 uh, here. Uh, it's the most useful tractor for us today. We've still got those dual care wheels ready for the carrots on the other tractor. So now we want to hook this up to here, now that we've got this done there. Get our mower on, fold it up like so, and we can head out up to... Uh, field, I think it's field uh, 102, I think we named it, uh, up the top and get started with some mowing. And here we are up at this field up here. I am, yeah, I am absolutely not sure exactly what I called this, but you can see here, this is our fully grown horse grass. Longer than the normal grass and uh, yeah, looking pretty good. I'm, I'm liking this. Uh, we are going to lose a little bit because we've got not got a massive space around the edge. And you can see with Maze Plus, this should die back a little bit yet when we drive over it. But that's all good. We will unfold our mower and we're just going to go round this field in a circular motion cutting this. Start her up, drop her down. And away we go, and you can see the horse grass dropping behind. And as we do this, over here, you can see this fruit tripe here just comes out as grass. Uh, and that is what it appears at. We want this to be appear as semi-dry horse grass, is what we're trying to get this to turn into. So uh, let's head around the field and get this cut. So three pull rows or three pull headlands done now and we have a pretty good idea of our yield on the here. Uh, we're getting a good yield down the bottom end and a worse one up the top. That matches our setup here, which, uh, yeah, you can see what we've got here. We've got silty clay through a big swath of this and sandy loam at that corner and then some nice loamy field there. And this is why this is a grass field. It is not a great growing field uh, in general, uh, but we're, we're getting some very nice off, uh, yield off the bottom, and we seem to be getting about 100%, maybe just under uh, in the actually uh, sandy, or the, sorry, the silty clay part of this field. So it's not too bad. It's not the end of the world. Um, hopefully we should be all right. We have got a mower conditioner on this mower, so it is doing a little bit of the work for us drying this out. Uh, we would have just wet grass if this wasn't uh, conditioning this. So that is really good news for us. It means that we are able to just go straight ahead and head this, hopefully reducing the moisture content of the grass and getting us to that point where we can get this uh, baled and, or road baled and wrapped and create ourselves some horse silage or haylage. Finishing off at this little dog leg up the top here and our picture of our yield is very much following the lines of those soil types. There wasn't much more we could have done to get a higher yield off here. So uh, that's a little bit of a vindication of how we've been handling this field. Uh, even if we didn't actually get to cut it last year. And yeah, now it's just going to be a case of going around this little square and getting this done. Uh, I'm probably going to do this now by lifting up at the end here, going up. And as this gets smaller, uh, we can just cut this down. This will also have the added benefit doing it this way of getting rid of uh, this little curve that's coming from doing this dog leg, uh, this extra bit up the top end of the field. So should serve us fairly well, I think. A couple more rows to go and this will all be finished. Uh, it's actually quite interesting. Between our alfalfa field and this field, we make enough feed for our horses. Uh, we make carrots, we make oats, we are fully uh, fully able to feed the horses every year from just these two uh, fairly small fields uh, and uh, and the, the 
a little bit of excess oats that we we make it do every year and a little bit extra um from our carrots that we uh, make every year we keep about four or five uh, boxes of each back and uh yeah so the grass field we've got there the one that we did a couple of videos ago we don't actually need to have that as a grass field the reason i still have that as a grass field and the reason why that even after we plow it up and uh, and replant it uh, we will will keep it as a grass field uh, is because it works incredibly well at getting us some extra money from our bga so yeah nicely in the middle of the farm we actually have a pad of sorts here although that will probably be going in the near future and uh, yeah it sort of uh, gives us a nice area in the middle of the farm on a field that's a very weird shape uh, that i never quite know what uh, i'm gonna do with it what we're gonna do now though is head back into our farmyard drop this mower off and grab the tether currently sitting behind the bale wrapper so we're gonna have to move that out first oh can i get this round here yeah there we go and then we just drop this off here like so it's a nice little uh, place for this to go and what we can do now is we'll just pull that out uh, that bale wrapper and put it around here so bring this here and like that get up i'm not going to worry about all the pipes i think yeah this doesn't have uh brakes on it so it's all good and we're just gonna bring this and park it over this way this is one thing with it a yard is is big enough for what we do but it is also uh, we are getting to the point where we've got enough equipment now where we're having to move things around a little bit I can't really see anywhere further for us to expand it at the moment. Um, although, yeah, there are a few things that we've got in odd places. So, for example, we've got the uh, we've got the bucket in there taking up a whole row in this area. So we probably need to move that somewhere where it's less in the way. There we go. All hooked up, and now we can head back up to the field and uh, and get this field tethered for the first time and i say for the first time because yes we are going to be tethering this twice today uh should bring it to the point where it goes into the uh horse uh horse semi dry horse grass uh, so we'll see what happens with it this is presuming this is all going to work because we did try this a couple of years ago and had an issue where it didn't actually work and we ended up creating a load of silage bales from it so having done more research this time and and actually making sure that i have all the maze plus information up for me uh before i start what have we got here semi hay is what we've got here which is an interesting thing so uh yeah i'm guessing i'm hoping that that is the horse grass windrow we will find out soon enough though as we go around here and uh, try and get this all tethered and uh, and then we'll give it a second go once this is done and see if that changes it into what we need it to and with just a couple more rows to go that is almost this field done and uh, and tethered for the first round now i am slightly concerned and uh, i i am still very much expecting this not to work uh, but with the uh, with the stuff here isn't fully matching what i'm expecting to see from maze plus so we are doing a bit of a test here as well as uh, actually doing this let's turn this off and i'm going to show you guys now that i've uh, i've done one run around the field uh, how to get this so that you can do a second almost immediately with this so i'm just going to come out the field and go over to the sugar beet or the uh, the former barn pad we've got over the other side of the road so that we can uh, work with this and at some point yeah the road is going to go straight down into this area 
I'm gonna lower this down and by detaching this completely and reattaching it we should be able to get this to then do a second set of mowing so it's detached we'll reattach lift it up and let's head back to the field and see if that now is going to run a second set of mowing uh, a second set of heading sorry and get this grass to the stage that we need it uh, in order to uh, make this into horse silage so close that gate or haylage i should be saying turn it on drop it down and do we have something different we do so we have gone from this darker stuff here uh, which is listed as hemi say to horse hay which is one stage too far so i think we actually because we had the mower conditioner we want to bail this up what i'm going to do is going to lift this turn this off because yeah this is treating this as being tethered three times which means we should be able to row this whole field up now and make horse silage from what we've got on the field let's head back to the farm and see if that works we're back down at the farm and i've unhooked the tether we're gonna get our wind rower up uh wind row this field now and hopefully we can then take the bale around it and uh get it bailed up and then get it wrapped and see how we go this is all a little bit of experimentation today because it hasn't didn't work so well last time so i'm intrigued to see now if we're actually going to get the results that we want to get from this now with maze plus 1.5 uh grass silage is an option for horses i want to remove that i i don't think it's realistic to give grass silage to horses so hopefully if this works that means i'll be able to do that because well i'll probably do that anyway to be honest because otherwise it gets a bit odd uh, uh but yeah this is rowing up nicely we need to get this road and then once i've got this nicely rowed what we can do is go and grab our baler bail it up and see what happens going three times around the headland and that should do us fairly well so we're going to bring this to here turn it off and fold it up i'm just gonna leave it off to the side here so that when we come back later well yeah leave it in the middle of the field here so when we come back later and uh, and row up the rest of this field we're able to uh just come in and it's here and ready for us because i want to go back to the farm and grab my baler now and we're gonna try and bail up these headlands we can then get the bales out of our way and by clearing up the headlands we'll be able to uh, easily turn around both with rowing and bailing the rest of the field and our little ford baler is over this way there we go back her up like so connect it all up and this tractor should have plenty of uh, oomph to pull this it's more powerful than our 7840 that normally does it uh, so yeah let's go and give it a go around this field and uh, see how well it works and back up to the field yeah lots of back and forth to the field today but we have our baler set up started up drop it down and currently we've got grass in the baler so our first bale absolutely gonna be the wrong type and we know this before we start so let's uh, let's just clear this bale off and we'll pop this in the corner so that we know exactly where this bale that is gonna give us the wrong uh, information is sitting 
Let's back down with our header and let's see what our first bail out of this field is. And it says semi hay and it's giving us the horse symbol. This is perfect. This looks like we are actually going to get a semi hay or a semi horse hay bail off, uh, off of this field here. And we've got to be very careful in this uh, in this corner of what the first bit we pick up next is because we do not want to pick up uh, some hay that we seem to have got into this corner. So let's back this up. Yeah, so the first bit there should pick us up some uh, nice uh, semi-dry horse grass. Yeah, so this is semi-hay. This is perfect for creating haylage. I'm just going to skip over that first bit and grab this bit here, which should give us a decent amount of semi-hay that we can then back up, plunk it down. And yeah, this is essentially, with everything that this is called, we are essentially going to be creating haylage. I'm really liking horse grass. Now that we've actually cracked how to, to do this and how to, to get this right, um, it's, it's a fantastic crop. It gives us a lot of options, especially uh, on a farm like this where we have horses. Uh, if this was to grow twice a year for me to cut, uh, then it would be even better. Personally, though, I think this would be a great crop to, uh, for us to replace the alfalfa with. We can get horse hay off it, uh, and we can get uh, uh, we can get horse hay, and we can get uh, haylage off, and it just means that we have those two components we need for our horses uh, very, very nicely. And without the uh, faff of having to deal with the alfalfa, which I think only grows once a year. Uh, whereas this may even grow multiple times a year if we were to get round to cutting it. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I think we need to get the rest of this baled up. See how many bales we get off just doing these headlands. And then from here, uh, we can see if we can create some all-important horse Oh, hay silage bales. Back down in the yard, and I've got the wrapper hooked on. Uh, we're going to take it into the workshop quickly because we currently have a black bale wrap on it. I want to switch that out to do something else because the black bale wrap is what we normally use for silage bales um, and therefore bales that we're, we're going to go and sell down at the BGA. We want to go and grab a different colour. Now, I don't think this uh Cavernland wrapper supports the blue that i normally go for in fact yes it doesn't so we are going to get a green color for these silage bales customize that yes okay and there it is perfect does it still oh it's switched to bicon now so we've changed the labels on it as well there is some funny stuff that goes on with farm sim and that where it resets all the options and everything you've got never mind um i'll switch it back later for now we're going to take this up to the field uh we're going to try and wrap a few bales and see if we're successfully creating some uh horse silage now ideally i want to stack all these somewhere near the gate so we're going to head up here and get the furthest ones to start with. We've got quite a few up this end of the field. How many bales have we actually created today? How many bales have we actually created today? That would be 11. So we've got 11 horse silage. Well, actually, that's 10 horse silage bales off here. Um, that isn't the full field, though. So, uh, yeah, we're looking at having a, a good amount. Now, I thought... Oh, it's taken all of my options off this. So where we had the bale turner before, uh, which would have been really useful on a field like this, um, we don't have it now. So uh, this is not going to turn these bales as we drop them off. But we'll just drop this off here. 
and we'll see what this says when we come to drop it off. And semi hay, fill type semi hay. So this should mean that we end up with some horse uh, or some uh, haylage. I keep trying to call it haylage, keep calling it uh, horse silage. Uh, it is haylage uh, as far as I'm concerned on this farm. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to end up with a nice field full of haylage bales. Uh, which will keep our courses going for a very long time. In fact, on the back of this, we may be able to increase the number of horses we have and make a little bit of extra money from that side of the farm. Our last bale from this headland of, uh, of bales. Just bring that into there. And yeah. Ten bales all grabbed and wrapped nicely. Uh, we've got the one silage bale or the one grass silage bale in the corner uh, that I'm going to have to put into the other field. Um, probably will still be in this green wrap, but if I put it in the other field, then uh, I won't mistake it for one of these uh, haylage bales. Uh, this, though, has been pretty successful. Ten uh, of these bales off here should do our horses for a very nice long time. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to have some more in a bit as well. Uh, that, though, I think is going to be a good place for us to end this video for today. So, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.